Broken. Hey, so we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to achieve the smoke trail in Unity. I based this implementation on the textures that can be found in Unity's particle pack, but I'll link them down in the description below for your convenience. The first thing we want to do after bringing the texture and normal map into Unity is to change the texture type of the normal map to normal map. After that's done, we can go ahead and create a new material. We'll name it something useful and we'll need to change the shader type to particle standard surface. We can then go ahead and drag the texture into the albedo and the normal map into the normal map. We can change the render mode to fade, enable flip book and soft particles, and we'll want to set the far fade to around 0.5. We can also go ahead and enable emission. And finally, we can set the colors to a gray and then a darker gray for the emission. With our material completed, we can go ahead and add a new particle system game object. We'll name it something useful, create a prefab out of it, and head into the prefab edit mode. We'll set the duration to about two seconds, the start delay to about 2.5 seconds, and the start speed will leave at five seconds. In the renderer, we'll just drag the new material that we created in so that we can actually see some change happening. At the start, this just renders the whole sprite sheets in each particle, which isn't what we want. So we can enable the texture sheet animation and we can set the tiles to five by five. At this point, we can see the sprite sheet animation plays through in each one of the particles. So I just noticed that the position was all weird. So I'm just gonna reset that. And with our orientation sorted out, let's just fiddle a bit more so that we can get this looking like something that would come out at the back of a rocket. We'll start by increasing the emission so that we have lots more particles. Then in the shape module, we'll reduce the angle to zero and the radius to 0 0.1, making it a much thinner particle trail. Next, we'll change the color over lifetime so that we can go from a lighter color to a darker color and a more transparent one over time. We'll enable the size over lifetime module so that we can go from smaller particles to bigger particles as the gas expands. I'm also just gonna increase the amount of emissions so that it looks a bit thicker. We're gonna have to change the space in which this renders because if we move it around, then nothing happens and we want it to be affected by movement. So we'll just change the simulation space to world. And cool, that looks pretty awesome. Lastly, I just wanna change the gravity to a small negative value so that the smoke rises over time. Then I'll just attach the particle object to the missile. And if you care about the missile, by the way, check out this video about how I made the rocket launcher. And with that done, everything seems to work as expected. Okay, cool. Bye.